morning homies or afternoon depending on where you are or good evening <laughs> uh, Jesus. so right now what I'm doing is I am about to my nose is itching I'm sorry guys this is part of my renovation real talk and today on renovation real talk I I'm going to talk about the process of getting us this far and being a homeowner on a DIY budget. That means DIY budget is basically you only have the budget for you to do it yourself. Um, demo, you do it. Paint, you do it. Um, electrical, if you watch enough YouTube videos and you know wear a lot of rubber then you do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, Or you can get somebody you know. We were blessed enough to have someone that we know who has been in this construction business for years to come in and do the foundational work so we can come in and do what we feel like we're comfortable doing, which is painting, which is tiling. Even though tiling is not easy, I will not say it's not easy, but it is a challenge. I would say you must, you kind of have to be very meticulous and, you know, because one little thing is off and you get all the way to the top and your whole thing is jacked and you either got to knock out your whole wall again or not care and let that little bit of crookedness drive you crazy and it will more than likely drive me crazy. So, I am just happy we got to this point. This room was kind of just mud and taped and drywall for about five weeks um yeah just i mean with that part you gotta be patient like you get agitated really quickly because it's like for me i just needed i just needed people to get me to a spot where i could just take over because i don't like waiting on people like if i feel like i can do something i'll go ahead and do it but with it's like a domino effect you can't do this without this and you don't know how to do it so you just got to sit there on your hands and just be upset. And, you know, budget is very important. I might do a whole, me and Sir might do a, video, a whole video on a budgeting when we don't have a renovation loan whatsoever. We just put money aside every month towards our renovation projects, whether that be downstairs, like, and uh, whether it be downstairs or upstairs or bathrooms, like, we just take a chunk of money and put it towards it. So, I mean, in the end, it could be a good thing. That way you can take your time. You don't have um, contractors and banks and and uh, all these different people putting you on schedule to get this money. And so you have to have it done. And then contractors, you know, upcharging you, which is what they're supposed to do, apparently. Upcharging you for things. I can pick what I want, the time I want, and to get it in the time I need it done and, and whatnot. So... It's just time consuming because we got to do it, you know, and I'm here every day with Royal, so when she's down for a nap, I literally just have to put on Sprout TV and let her rock out because um, I'm doing like a lot. I am the lumber person, I'm the cook, I'm the cleaner, I'm the mommy, I'm the poster, I'm the handy home girl, I'm the fitness, trying to lose this weight girl, like. I'm doing a lot, so for me to take on this, y'all just need to give me a round of freaking applause because I'm doing it. I'm doing it all. So, well, you like, but you ain't got to. Yes, I do. Because you ain't over here trying to help me or do it for me. So, just watch me do. Watch me work. Okay. So, um, I'm about to get started. I'm going to set everything up. You're going to watch me just set everything up. I got my sponge and a bucket of water. What I learned is that you have to constantly, constantly be cleaning um, so you don't have the mastic, which is the glue that you put on the wall to stick the tile. It dries really fast and it dries super hard and you don't want it to be scratching your tile because eventually you can scratch your tile um, when it dries later. So you, you have to really clean the edges. Don't let it glop because one little thing can really throw this off. So um, I'm going to start on this wall right here. I'm going to you know bring a camera so y'all can see me. see me do it. 
And I'm also going to, I have a few cut pieces already, but I'm going to cut a few more. I got this old school machine. I'm going to show you this old school machine I have to use. Like, like I'm waiting for a saw to get here. Alright, so, I'm going to take my tile. This is my final out a tutorial, but if you want to take it as a tutorial, I'm just showing that I can do it. And maybe you want to get somebody to show you to do it. But I'm not the one showing you. I'm just showing you what I've learned. I am not by far a professional tiler. I don't need professional tiles making comments. Like, you suck. Get out of the profession. Like, bruh. Like, I am not a professional tiler. I just can't afford for you to come do it for me. It's that simple. Unless you want to do some pro bono work. Then by all means, please come over. Help a sister out. But... You know, so then you put it in the thing that came out with the first calculator. You line it up on that mark. Basically, if I don't embarrass myself on the first cut, I'm going to create like these lines. Start on the end. And take this thing in the middle. Oh! And I broke it. Well, I got one good side. I broke the other side. So, yeah. Like I said, I'm not a professional tiler. Professional tilers have saws. The saw has not made its way to my house yet. Yeah. So, not the best. But, you know, I have a lot of boxes. And let's just try again. Just try, try again. Try, try, try again. It's very, this thing is very annoying and tedious. But that's why Sir is not doing it. Because he gets frustrated very quickly. At anything that is meticulous. And takes time. And you need it to be straight. He don't care. That's why our TV is crooked. And I told him, babe, make it straight. Oh, no. He didn't move it. But that's why I do all the meticulous projects. So press it, hold it. Ha! I did it! That one came out pretty decent. And then I just use a brick. If we use a brick to um, make those edges straight. And bam! with hold on with this halfway let's see all right so i'm gonna get started finishing this little section here we got pretty far up so i feel pretty confident in getting that far i actually put a lot of these on myself last night put these on last night i cut a few half pieces so i can have them ready to do right here um and i what else i need i have my leveler have this real 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 time leveler uh, i have my water and sponge right here i hope you can hear it uh, what else do i need i need my trowel uh, i have a brick to kind of make my half pieces a little bit straighter from the edges that i cut they say that my pop said that it's usually called a rug stone but I don't have a rope stone, so a brick works just fine. Um, and I have my trowel that I'm going to spread the mastic. It's a big bucket of like white goo that I'm going to spread. Now, I'm not the, I haven't really grasped it, so y'all really about to like see like a big mess. But I am practicing. I'm going to try to like keep it nice and clean, nice and neat. That was the first lesson was just try to keep it neat, keep it clean. Know what's on your trowel. And then I put it on the wall and then I could just pop it on and then I'm gonna use my level to make sure that everything's leveled and I'm gonna I'm gonna stop right here. So I'm only gonna do one row, one row, two rows, three rows. I'm only gonna do three rows right here because um Pops wants to stop until we figure out what to do with this edge and then I might start again up here 
Uh, and I moved the camera up, but I'm going to start up here and work my way up and then stop when I get to the edge because once again, those intricate cuts and I think we're going to need an actual saw. So he said he's going to bring a saw by, but I'm going to do this by hand and um, do the other wall as well. I think I need to sand it down some, but here we go. Here we go. No supervision whatsoever. But I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I know that I'm going straight across because we're lining them up with the tile. So I'm going to make sure that my leveler is leveled. Alright.
So I'm done with this side of the wall. I'm done with what I was instructed to do. I left uh, this part out because we're going to try to figure out. We have to put the the um, the uh, contrasting tile back here. And um, then we have to figure out the edges. And then uh, I held off on the very, very, very last row because I think there are going to be some a lot more intricate cuts that that thing will not possibly do so we're saving that for later and then I'm about to uh, have to hit the other side but I think I'm doing a really good job guys it looks really good I'm very proud of myself I was very nervous starting but um, I just really just made sure I started on a level line and I kept going up and then I kept checking to make sure that I was leveled and I think it looks really good I'm actually very very proud of myself like I did that. Yeah, I did that. So I'm going to the other side and see you next video.